Isn't this the cutest top? My mom usually doesn't like milk cat stuff, and when I was in the shelter, I wanted this top, and she tried it on, and she loved it, but that's the thing about her, is, um, that's why I'm, I got her to, I got her to go through her clothes, but she would have never done it on her own, and get rid of stuff that she'll never wear, that doesn't even fit her, that was too small, or too big, or, or that she just didn't like. She, when you have so much crap, you can't find the good stuff. I found stuff. I'm like, do you like this? And she's like, oh, I didn't even know I had that. You know, so. Um, but I love this top. I'm living here now so we can share clothes. I just love, love, love this top. It's so to she, you know. Oh. She has a lot of cute stuff, but she was never going to find any of it. She keeps everything. Her closet was just packed full. And especially since I spent six and a half months in that shelter and I know, you know, how, you know, people arrive there with absolutely nothing. Nothing. And they don't even have the money to buy something at Savers or, or, or Goodwill or whatever, you know. So I forced my mom, same with the goddamn shoes. You can't have this attitude, mom, or, so what? Yeah, Marion got from a dead person a whole bunch of shoes. That doesn't mean all those shoes fit. They're new, Laura. No, actually, a lot of them are not new. And a lot of them, you t I forced you to try them on. You would have kept them in your closet for ten years. You would have probably had them when you died or something. Whatever, you know, it's she never would have worn any of them because she wouldn't bother to go through them to find out. Same with her clothes. She had no idea what she had for clothes. And now I cut her closet back. I didn't force her to get rid of anything that she didn't like, didn't want to wear, would never wear in a million years. It wouldn't even fit her. There was stuff in her closet that was huge. There was stuff that it was her friends who stayed here and it got mixed up with her stuff. Most of her little tops, because they're all, I like, low cut, and they're not low cut. They're cute as hell on her. I mean, I, I don't love them, but I can, so can she for that matter, but I should just tons of cute things I can afford to, you know, buy a whole bunch of stuff. I didn't buy a ton of stuff this winter. I don't like the winter. I spent a lot of this winter just in this house. I didn't even leave all the time. I have to walk the dog. And I did leave, but I didn't, you know. I've been sleeping. The earlier I go to bed, you know, I had been going to bed at 12 and I'd been sleeping at like 7, 3. Last night I went to bed at 1 and I woke up today at 5.30. I'll go back to bed, but... I watched Sarah's Key. A movie, you know, that involves the Holocaust. Different perspective, a little bit. I don't even think it's a true story. Different perspective, but same ending. Maybe it is a true story, I don't know. If I know, could I have a Google it? My mom didn't want to watch it. That's okay. That's okay. This scares me, Laura. I know, Mom, but it happened, and everything in life can't be all rosy and good, you know? I'm not just going to rent happy romantic movies. I mean, I rent them for you. Not that I don't enjoy them, but, you know, I have to.
government thinks that I want to see it too. She didn't want to watch the dang a dangerous mess, and that was a true story. Um, and it was so because it had scenes of, you know, a woman being absolutely out of her mind and sane in it. Mom didn't want to see that. Our memories, I understand. I understand. She's blocked out a lot of what's happened to her in mental hospitals. I don't know if I know if I can imagine. Um, particularly what happened to her when she first spent a long time in a mental hospital, which was one of those big, giant, whatever, you don't know what goes behind closed doors. Back when I was 12. Um, anyway, Sarah's key uh, stories deserve to be told. I don't understand. Something like the Holocaust even happened. I don't understand how a man is capable of doing to a spell man. I say to myself, I can't stay in this world, but I have to stay. But that's not really true. No one has to stay. Um, Dr. McGovern, over a year ago when I was still with Donald and his mom, told me that the world needs me. never found out if those cops who viciously just beat that homeless man to death. They, he had schizophrenia. They didn't know that he, um, he, they just thought he was a nothing that nobody would care. They didn't know that his father was actually an ex-police chief, and, uh, they got prosecuted. I never felt up following the case. I was following the case, you know, but when your own life falls apart, you can't be following, you know. I was following it. I just... I watched the, I mean, watched the video. It was just... The man was already on the ground, screaming for his father. You look at the pictures, I mean, they, they just brutally, they beat him to death. They deserve to go to jail for that. I don't know if they did. I don't even remember his name now. I knew it for a long time. I forget. He was on the ground crying for his father. He obviously was no threat. They continued just to... They beat him to death. His face was a mashed mishmash of just... You know, beat him to death. I hope they went to jail. I should find out. They just figured he was a nothing and nobody would know. They figured wrong, didn't they? Anyway, man seemed to be a man. Um, I don't. I'm not gonna force my. I'm not gonna make fun of her. I'm not gonna, you know. I, you know, I'm not gonna 
shade myself or, you know, I'm not going to only watch happy things. A lot of people only do that. I can't. I've seen the Anne Frank things. I did a paper at FSU in my history class. But a guy who ultimately killed himself by 